Hello there, welcome to another To The Point video. We get a lot of customers who have issues with new printers in that they connect them to their computer and they're very disappointed with the results. And invariably, it's all about selecting the right options at the time of print. When you come to print a photograph, you have to select the paper option and you have to select the print quality option. What you need to bear in mind is that when printers are delivered, they will print in draft mode always. In other words, they print on plain paper with low resolution. So look, let's not waffle on. Let's just have a quick look at uh, how we get to. Now we're going to use a WF3010DW and I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing it. The first way is if you're using Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, you should be able to get to your devices and printers like such. And we've just named ours Die Sub. So select, right click on the Die Sub printer and select Printing Preferences. That takes you straight into the dialog box for your settings. I'm going to also close that and we're going to do right click it and we're going to go Printer Properties. This offers an awful lot more, but if all you want to do is to get to the print settings dialog box just come down here preferences and you're back in it so there you go just very quickly to do say a print for an image I would go paper source cassette assuming that I'm using up to a 210 220 GSM nice photo paper flexible photo paper if I'm using 300 I'd come from the back um, using a single sheet feeder and I would select that but we're going to leave it on cassette. If I wanted borderless, I would just select borderless and I would get this crazy message here. But we don't want borderless, so we're going to deselect it. Right, paper type. When the printer comes in the box, this is how it's going to come selected. Now, all you need to do, if you want to do an image on gloss paper, all you need to do is to select ultra glossy, premium glossy or semi gloss or just have some glossy whatever it is you've got but we're wanting to print on an Epsom or a standard photo matte paper we're going to select that we want it high quality we're going to select that by the way those are the settings for dye sublimation printing and pretty much that's it that's all you need to do if you want you can go in and you can create some presets you can make some adjustments here but they're pretty much for playing around one thing I would draw your attention to is to mirror image if you're die sub printing you're gonna need to mirror that image so I leave my printer set as high speed which is basically you're printing bi-directional so as it makes a pass across it's printing when it's coming back it's printing if you print in non-high speed it just prints on the one pass so that is pretty much that and away you go and then you would hit print and you're good to go another way of doing it is through software I'm going to use Coral Draw and I've cheated I've already put an image up you're not interested in the images you're interested in how to print so excuse what you see on the screen we would go file and we would select print now this is going to take us to something slightly different let's select the right printer die sub and away we go die sublimation printing you need to be careful what profiles you're using now using coral draw and the inks and papers that we supply you will get an excellent print result with the printer converting the colors. Now our printer is called Die Sub. The alternate to that is Coral Draw, which is the software. You want the printer to convert the colors. And the other way, you'll note that if you do it through Coral Draw, you'll get this Epson driver up. So they then creates corrections let's not confuse people let's just set it there and that's all you need to do on that particular tab um, let's run through it composite I've never used it layout 
can mess about that if you wish. If you can actually mirror in Coral Draw if you're using printers that don't have the mirror function on this software, but as we've already shown you on Epson, you do have. So coming back, we come into General, we make sure we've selected the right printer, and we make sure that it is the printer that's doing the color conversions. And we're good to go. So we would hit print at that. Let's just check our settings here. Epson matte, high quality, as we've already done. High speed, mirror image, okay. And that's it, click print and you're good to go. I hope that has helped you. Thank you.